Wind Up Night 2 for the Wii U is what I'm assuming is a sequel to the original Wind Up Night. Can't help but think of Clockwork Night for the Saturn for some reason. So this is a mobile game um, that's made its way onto uh, onto the Wii U, to the eShop. Uh, with it being a mobile game and the Wii U not being a mobile platform, uh, the game somewhat emulates some of the like it's like a fake social media thing, you know. I mean, it's there. I don't really pay that much attention to be honest with you, but that stuff is there to sort of give it that kind of vibe. I'm not sure if that was in the original mobile version. I honestly could not say. As you see here, um, you have like a some sort of kind of social media thing on the on the left side. But the game is pretty much a uh, infinite running side scroller. Um, you want to make your way from often the left to the right, collecting coins, and the coins unlock uh, different uh, weapons and upgrades. And one more, one more, I think a lot of things are aesthetic. I don't know how, how much of it really affects the gameplay, to be honest with you. But uh, there are some things, though. So basically, um, it's a runner. And. You want to collect all the coins in every level to complete it, if you will, but as you'll see later on, um, some of the levels, many of the levels, all the levels, <laughs> I think, um, have three other objectives that can also be reached. Collecting other things can also be done in order to, uh, I, don't know, I don't know, spice it up. I don't know if that really spices it up or not, but uh, it sort of reminds me of, I don't know, any other runner. <laughs> it's not that it, that's, that's not a bad thing. Uh, it's fun. It's enjoyable for what it is. Uh, hey, Frosty Bridge. I got a B. Could have done better. And like most games, it starts off fairly easy, but then things get a little more complicated. Uh, the things that you're having to dodge and maneuver around. You have wolves, and cannons, and boulders, and spikes, and roosters some reason uh, are, are all chasing after you and you just have to hone those skills in order to get through successfully sometimes so after you complete the level the first time there's the side quests collecting the diamonds collecting the butterflies or different things to find within the level so give it some I guess replay value, but you are playing the same level, you just have a different objective. Instead of collecting the coins, how to get to the end, you want to collect the diamonds. Now you also have to pick up the um, the winding keys, because that's sort of how you move. If you don't get those, then the knight won't move, and you lose, so you kind of have to get those, lest the game end, and you're left disappointed, because who wouldn't be? Stuff starts falling on your head, it gets kind of crazy. I'm not sure why these birds want you to die. It's more like a griffin, though, actually. Anyway, that's Wind Up Night 2. Uh, it kind of is what it is. Um, not bad. Not Nothing special. I, mean, I, I found it fun for the, the time that I played it. I don't know. kind of feel like um, if you have a mobile device, you probably have something that fills in that void already, but... If you don't have a game like that for the for the Wii U, um, now there is one. <laughs> uh, yeah. So if you like this video, maybe even the sound of my voice, possibly, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, check out more videos and podcasts at GameOfThews.com. Uh, two other reviews on the left chair we have Roving Rogues, which is for the Wii U, which is a co-op uh, platformer. It's pretty fun. And Beyond Eyes for the Xbox One, which is an interesting game with a you control a blind girl who's trying to find her her cat. And the world fills in as you move around it. I guess that's it. Subscribe. No. No, seriously, subscribe.